Hi ho, neighborinos, it's Raymond, and I'm back for my Christmas special of my show. I know you've been waiting, you've been anticipating. Well, I am here to tell you how life's been. It's been great. I'm Ray. Of course it's going to be great. I'm the most intense, dignified, superior person. And I don't mean that to create judgment. I'm just saying if I were to actually be anticipated as like a religious figure to, you know, a a billion Asians it could work out I mean the Dalai Lama is pretty close to retirement and as far as retirement goes if you think about it I probably should be thinking about retirement myself yeah this year I'm gonna be turning the big 25 25 big American hot dogs I don't know what that means but I said it why did I say it cuz I can leader I am a leader. So anyways, it's Christmas 2014. I'm here at the old shack. That's what I call my house, by the way. I'm at the shack, and it is nice. <laughs> and I mean it. It's nice. And so I was thinking today, Ray, why do you look so good? And then I thought, because I'm Ray. <laughs> no one else is. I mean, there's people who could have, you know, basically the same identical name as me, but in no way whatsoever will they ever be number one. That's me. So, let's get down to brass tacks and talk about the reflection of life. Most people work hard and actually develop these characteristics. I, on the other hand, I'm kind of like Kim Jong Il. My I'm basically that kind of guy who first attempt playing golf gets 18 holes in one. Literally, I'm 96 under par. New course record. They basically have to rename the golf course after me, metaphorically speaking. But I'm sure all of you who are watching this were very well aware of that. Um, so, I didn't want to say this, but it's New Year's in six days six days it will be 2015 that means I only have 90 more years left because I'm gonna be you know 115 years old before I even think about dying I'm, I lied I'm, I'll probably be like 33 I, I imagine a crane falling on me while I'm mountain climbing K2 back to back with Mount Everest. The crane is only there because Mount Everest wasn't large enough, so I actually had to vis like physically transport K2 to the top of Mount Everest just to make the feat a little bit more of a difficult terrain. It wasn't because I'm Ray and you're not. But anyways, I guess it's time to call our quits for tonight, boys and girls. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I'll talk to you again sometime. Adios, muchachos.